Hi, I'm Jennifer Hardy, and today I will be talking to you about Sharktooth Hill. Why is Sharktooth Hill so significant? Since the 1850s when it was first discovered, Sharktooth Hill has provided many fossils dating back 15 million years ago. The site sheltered life for up to 700,000 years. Sharktooth Hill is not too young or old in geologic time. It began in the Cenozoic era. What kind of sharks lived at Sharktooth Hill? There were three main genera of sharks, Odontaspis, Nothodonus, and Megalodon. All three genera showed up well before the deposition of Sharktooth Hill. Nothodonus is the first genus I will be talking about. The Nothodonus appeared 195 million years ago. Here is a similar shark of the same genus. Here is the shark tooth of the Nothodonus. The Odontaspis is the second genus I will talk about. Odontaspis appeared 140 million years ago. Here is a similar shark of the same genus. And here you can see the Odontaspis shark tooth. The Megalodon is the most massive genus I will talk about. The Megalodon sharks appeared 65 million years ago. Here is a cool artist rendition of a Megalodon. Here you can see a size comparison. How massive is the Megalodon? Here is the average size of a person. Here is the great white shark, a cousin of the Megalodon shark. Here is the Megalodon shark at its maximum size. This here, you can see a great white shark breaching. Cool, huh? Okay, now we will discuss the, the theories of fossil accumulation at Sharktooth Hill. The two main theories surrounding the fossil accumulation at Sharktooth Hill was that the site was a mecca for predatory megalodon sharks that came here to feed on the marine life. Another idea is that Sharktooth Hill and the surrounding area was a long-term breeding ground for seals and other marine animals. Later, the presence of land-dwelling mammals was discovered, and the theories have since been revised. What happened to all life at Sharktooth Hill? Experts suggested a widespread cause of death like red tide or volcanic disaster eradicated a lot of life or all of the life at Sharktooth Hill. This is different than a mass extinction because a mass extinction is a worldwide extinction of many, 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 many organisms. Okay, but what really happened at Sharktooth Hill? Experts did a survey with 3,000 teeth and various bones under the care of museums. They cut out a square yard section of the bone bed for study, complete with rock layers above and below to get an encompassing view of all the fossils buried in and around Sharktooth Hill. The survey turned up only five fossils with indents made by shark teeth and scarce numbers of young or juvenile seal specimens. But the main point here is that researchers were led to believe this fossil deposit was not a feeding ground for prehistoric sharks nor a breeding ground for early species of seals. Further evidence debunks the myth of volcanic disaster ending a lot of life at Sharktooth Hill, as there is actually no volcanic soil present at Sharktooth Hill. The existence of land-dwelling mammals like taper, tapers was discovered at the site and thus makes it dubious that red tide appeared as an instant killer of marine life or any life in the area. Disappearance of life was not sudden but gradual. The main point here is that there is no widespread cause of death that eradicated all life at Sh Sharktooth Hill instantly. Rotten Bones? At Sharktooth Hill, there is an occurrence of rotten bones. This is happening because of the intermixing of bones rather than the deposition by layer to preserve the bones. And because of this intermixing, you get rotten, abraded looking bones that sort of sat right in a, co a coastal shelf, as you can see in the diagram on the right. What does Sharktooth Hill have to do with Bakersfield? Bakersfield is located in the San Joaquin Basin. 
And Starktooth Hill has obviously yielded evidence that Bakersfield was once underwater. Okay, so the cool thing about Sharktooth Hill is that you can go visit there too via Ernest Queries. Here you can actually collect Sharktooth at the surface. Here is the map of the site. As you can see, you have your campground and parking lot, the scientific preserve, and the west and east quarry where the public may dig. Thanks for watching. Here are my works cited pages.